All right, I'm gonna show you guys how I tie my double egg loop knot for my hooks. And it's gonna be the same as a single, but just with a very small variation. And I like using it a lot. So this is a size four over hook. And this is what I typically use for uh, my salmons for the uh, uh, pinks and coho, especially when I'll be um, well, I'll be using this for bar fishing, which I'll show you guys later. So it's going to be sitting sitting there quite a bit. And it could be spinning if I attach a spinning glow to it. So I want it to be relatively large enough so that uh, when the salmon comes and bites on it and possibly bounce off the spinning glow, that there's a better chance of him catching this, him or her, catching the hook and me being able to set it. So with all fishing here in British Columbia, uh, well, when I say all, it's, I guess it's also the sport fisherman in me. You should always make sure you clip off the, the barb here. Let's see if the camera can show you guys. Yeah, you see that little barb there? Make sure you clip it off. And um, also because it's illegal to fish with it, in many of our waters here, we have a lot of retention uh, rules here. So if you catch a species that you should not be keeping, you should be releasing it and it'll make it a lot harder to release if you got that barb in there. Okay, again, I don't have a camera person helping me out, so I'm gonna try to do my best here. And uh, this right here is a 20 pound line, leader line. And to do your egg loop, you usually start by putting in your leader line and putting it on the back of the shank of the hook and start your wraps. But to do a, a double, all you do is take the leader line and loop it back through the hole. Okay. I'm trying to do this while I'm looking at the camcorder as well. It's actually quite challenging. So here you have the little loop where this has gone through the shank and you loop it back through the eye. Okay, so we're gonna hold on to this like so. All right, like this. So there's actually two lines there, the one that I originally went through and the other one that went back up to create this loop here. That's your first loop. Now you proceed to do your wrapping just like doing a single. All right. I'll show you guys that nice and close. It's nice and nice and tight. All right. Take your end. <clears throat> and pop it back through the hole here. The eye at the hook. And this is the part that we just put through. You pull this back onto the top of the shank, squeeze it in with your thumb, okay? So now you, you see that? We have it over, and this is the part that, just, that we just put through, and this part that you see is from the very start, the first egg loop, which is here. I'm not gonna release it, because once I do, this is gonna be a useless demo. Take the same wire that you're using to do your wraps initially, and continue wrapping. All right, I'm doing this a little slower, so hopefully, hopefully it'll turn out okay. I'm used to doing this a lot faster. Usually when I do something slower, it doesn't turn out too well. It's just one of those things that's embedded in my mind with how, how I do it. I don't even have to look, I just, I just do it. So I'm doing a little messy so you can see, but no problem, you can tighten it back up like this. Okay, I'm gonna do a few more wraps, especially since I'll be aiming for coho. When I hook him good, he's gonna be jumping around like a ballerina. Didn't have much success last weekend. Hooked into a few, but just couldn't land them. They really are a really fun fish to fish for. All right, so I have enough of my loops put in. This was from the beginning. This was just right now. And I'm gonna take this line that we put in to get the second one and tug on it. Okay, I'm gonna pull on it. Okay, 
looks a little messy right now. Anyways, here's the other loop where this end of the line will be tied to your swivel. And I'm just feeling for some kinks because that wasn't a good one. Probably gonna have to retie this. So here's my first um, egg loop where for me, uh, not the best example, but here's some wool. Depending on the color of the water, the clarity of the water, the level of the water, and how quick it is, I'll be using different colors to adjust for where I'll be fishing. And I normally put it in here, then you pull on this to singe it up. You see how it's getting smaller? You snip it afterwards. So in other words, the first egg loop is not going to be constantly adjustable, okay? So please keep that in mind when you're doing this. But I do that so that it adds a little bit of attraction for the fish to come and helps my hook float in the current a little better because again, I'm going to be bar fishing. And then this loop here, which, will, which I'll constantly be able to open up and then singe it down again because this goes to the swivel, um, that's where I'm going to be putting in my salmon roll. So that's how I do my uh, double egg loop knots for my hook. All right, I hope I went slow enough and so you can follow. Again, it's not really the best of my examples here. It's a little hard to do when I'm trying to look at a small screen. And normally I would have uh, a round little guy like this, a little bit bigger with cork in it. So I can put my hooks in and easily pull it out without the wires um, or the leader line tangling up. But I think I left it at the river last week. So I'm going to have to make a new one. So uh, it's always good to have a way to put your hooks in so it's easy for you to, um, you know, take it out and tie it to you, your fishing rod. Alright, I hope this tutorial was good and that it can help you out. If you have any questions, leave some comment. If you think it was a crappy job, <laughs> let me know. Uh, maybe I'll find some time to do it again. Thanks for watching.